Hello everyone and welcome to APM Academy. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to enter a new ownership entity or a new owner. So to start, there's a couple places you can do that. You can either from your dashboard, click the task on the right hand side, new owner, and then enter the information here. Or from your dashboard, you can go people on the left hand side, owners, new owner. Today's owner, we're just going to enter uh, for the sake of our video. We're going to name him uh, Smaug Real Estate. And here is where you'll fill out his contact information. You'll add a phone number, email, forwarding address for this owner. This is gonna be an important section for 1099 season. Here you'll need to input their taxpayer name and ID and check off whether or not they need a 1099. In most cases, you will need to check off the send 1099 as it is your legal obligation at the end of the year to report the total income collected for the summer. Here in accounting information for the owner, you can select whether or not you want them to see a breakdown on their bills, hold any payments from them, whether or not maybe the unit's not rented and you don't want to send them the owner distribution, you can hold payments. And then you can set their default check memo to say owner draw. Here's going to be important whether or not you're going to use their online payables for them. By most owners, they typically will default to wanting to be paid via ACH. Here is where you'll gather their information for their, their bank account. They'll say owner paid by ACH, and you'll enter their bank account routing number and account number here. This will then make them again e-check uh, eligible and allow for you to seamlessly pay them through e-check through your Affolio software. Here in the owner statement enhanced, this is now the default owner statement report that gets sent out. Here you can customize the report to show certain features within the system. You can show tenant names, show transaction details. This is just the description on every transaction, show on paid bills detail, and you can separate management fees from cash out for them. The next section is the owner packet. This you can share or set up to be shared every single time you send out their owner statement. This is useful for owners that like to see more heavy reporting in terms of income statements, cash flows, and balance sheets. You can send it via email. And then if you'd like to include those specific reports listed, here's where you can say which you prefer to be sent out to them. now with every single owner packet that is sent out, these will be the reports that are sent to them. Maintenance information is just for owner specific notes, whether that be how they prefer to handle maintenance or just what they have in terms of thoughts on maintenance. Once you've entered all this information, then you can go ahead and scroll down and hit save. Thank you for watching APM Academy brought to you by APM Help. If you have questions on the content, you can find us at apmhelp.com or reach us at info at apmhelp.com. Like, share, and subscribe for more.